नमस्कार दोस्तों मैं नीरज एक बार फिर स्वागत करता हूं आपका अपना चैनल ब्लेसिंग चैनल में आज का जो विषय रहेगा वो रहेगा एक चैनल को मैं सपोर्ट करना चाहता हूं रुखसाना मार्क्स जो चैनल का नाम है और कहते हैं कि टीचर कभी रिटायरमेंट नहीं लेता तो यही बात है कि टीचर जो होता है वो रिटायरमेंट के बाद भी टीच करना चाहता है अगर मैं रुखसाना मार्क्स मैम की बात करूं तो इन्होंने इनके माध्यम से इतने बच्चे कामयाब हुए हैं कि मैं भी आपको इतना बता नहीं पाऊंगा क्योंकि कुछ एक का नाम तो मैं बता पाऊंगा कि जो डॉक्टर बने हैं मतलब डॉक्टर ओमबीर की बात करूं तो ये रोहतक पीजीआई में हैं डॉक्टर संदीप की बात करूं तो इनका खुद का क्लिनिक है और डॉक्टर अमन राहट की या देवल की बात की जाए तो डॉक्टर वैभव की बात की जाए डॉक्टर पंकज की बात की जाए मतलब उन इनसे पढ़े हुए बच्चे इतने कामयाब हुए हैं हम बता भी नहीं पाएंगे तो एक बात और है जो भी बच्चा यदि बायो में उलझता है मतलब कोई भी टॉपिक उसका उलझ जाता है तो मैडम ने कहा है कि मैं टॉपिक को क्लियर करवाऊंगी और हिंदी या इंग्लिश दोनों लैंग्वेज में तो मैं उस चैनल को सपोर्ट करना चाहता हूं और डिस्क्रिप्शन में मैं इस चैनल का लिंक भी डाल दूंगा आप वहां पर जाकर इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब जरूर करें और भविष्य में मैं भी मैम की कुछ वीडियो डालूंगा इसमें तो आप यहां से भी आप टॉपिक को देख सकते हैं तो आगे की जो घटनाक्रम है वो मेरे दोस्त बताएंगे कि नेक्स्ट जो मैडम जो आज इस वीडियो में जो टॉपिक को कवर करो करवा रही है वो टॉपिक कौन सा है चलो करते हैं आज का जो टॉपिक रहेगा वो रहेगा वर्किंग ऑफ ह्यूमन हार्ट स्टेप बाय स्टेप हम डायग्राम के माध्यम से सीखेंगे मैडम आपको सिखाएगी कि ह्यूमन हार्ट कैसे वर्क करता है और तब तक के लिए हम दोनों विराम लेते हैं मेरी बेस्ट फीसिज आपके साथ है और मैडम की तो हमेशा आपके साथ ही रहेगी चलो शुरू करते हैं आज का टॉपिक मैम करवाने जो जा रही है वर्किंग ऑफ ह्यूमन हार्ट students to my channel learning made easy this is especially for students who find science or biology difficult to understand and learn i have tried to make these lectures as easy as it can be and can be understood by all i am roxana marx a retired principal and pgt for the last 32 years teaching biology and i'm sure you will like these and will understand them easily and make your learning very easy today friends I'll start with the most vital organ of our body, and that is human heart. Human heart is a pump-like organ which is situated within the rib cage, in between the lungs. It is constantly working without stopping. and is an organ which pumps almost 5 to 6 liters of blood in the body day every minute it is pumping around the time of 72 times per minute this speed does not allow the heart to take rest but the relaxation between the contraction helps the heart to gather energy and work constantly structure of the heart is four chambered structure which has two auricles and two ventricles i will be using different colors to predict the both sides of the heart that is the left side and the right side left side receiving oxygenated blood while the right side receiving deoxygenated blood from the body i will be using red color for oxygenated blood that is normally the color of the arteries and blue color i will be using for making the right side of the heart that is deoxygenated blood from which the oxygen has been used auricles are the upper part of the heart and are thin walled structures which receive blood from the lungs on the left side and from the body on the right side another very important thing which uh, students may not be knowing is the structure how we label it when i label this portion that is on my right hand i will be labeling it labeling it as left auricle this phenomena sometimes bothers the student why do we label left with the right hand and this is very simple whenever a doctor operates you 
the operation will always be from the ventral side of the human body, like this. So this becomes my left and this becomes my right. So we label it accordingly. <coughs> So we have left auricle and right auricle. On the lower end, we have the ventricles. A simple thin septum separates the auricles. normally called as interauricular septum. While on the other hand, we have the ventricles which is separated by another septum called as interventricular septum. The wall of the left ventricle is thick. While the wall of the right ventricle is quite thin as compared to the right one. The space between the auricles and the ventricles are guarded by two valves. The valve on the right side is called as tricuspid while that on the left side is called as bicuspid. When I say bicuspid and tricuspid wall, this side it is tricuspid wall. These valves are guarded accordingly by the name with number of valves. Bicuspid has just got two valves present. While the tricuspid valves have three valves. These valves are big muscular structures which are like this. One, two and the third one. These tricuspid valves they bend downwards, put a pressure and are quite closely packed so that there is no leakage of blood when they are closed. It's only when the auricles contract, they can send the blood to the ventricles. While on the other hand, the space between these are guarded by two big vessels. One vessel is called as iota and is placed on the left side of the heart. This is called aortic arch or aorta. On the other hand, that is the right side. The right side again has a big whistle, but this whistle is not a single vessel, it comes out of the heart and divides into two. This big vessel is called as pulmonary iota. or the second name to this is pulmonary artery. This divides into two and each branch leads into different lungs. One on the right side, this is to the right lung. And this one goes to the left lung.
both these big vessels are guarded by semilunar valves on the end. Now what are these semilunar valves? Semi, as you know, is half. Lunar pertains to the moon. So we can say the semilunar valves are similar to the moon. They are like this, half moon shaped. These valves are three in number and they guard iota as well as pulmonary artery. The left auricle receives blood from both the lungs with a set of pulmonary veins. This is from the left lung, sorry, from the right lung, and this is from the left lung. Similarly, the right auricle receives two big vessels. One is called as free cava. And the other is called as post cava. The pre cava receives blood from the upper part of the body. When I say upper part, I mean upper than the heart. And the post keval receives blood from the lower part of the body. That is from the toe, beginning from the toe of my body till the heart. Now these two, they open in the right auricle. While the pulmonary veins, they open into the left auricle. Now the ventricles, they have a septum between them. This is called as interventricular septum. While the septum present between the auricles is called as interauricular septum. Auricular septum. These raised portions in the heart have thread like structures called as polytendine. They support the heart and keep the ventricle in form. Normally these are large and are united with the upper part of the heart. Both sides have them. The end of the heart is called as heart apex. This is right ventricle. This is left ventricle. Now when both veins, they bring blood, from the lungs and pour the oxygenated blood into the left auricle. Simultaneously, the right auricle receives blood from pre-keval and post-keval. When both auricles are filled with blood, 
they contract simultaneously. And as they contract, bicuspid and tricuspid valves give way. They are stretched apart. This results in the blood from the auricles to flow down into the ventricle. From the left auricle to the left ventricle, from the right auricle to the right ventricle. They are not allowed to mix as they are separated by a septum called as interventricular septum. This is not the case in amphibians. In amphibians, we have mixed blood in the ventricle as the heart is three-chambered. But in case of uh, mammals, it is four-chambered and the oxygenated and deoxygenated blood does not mix here. Now, when the ventricles are filled with blood, they simultaneously contract. And as they contract, this forces the semilunar valves present at the end of the pulmonary artery and aorta to open up. Now, opening of these valves will lead to oxygenated blood in the aorta, deoxygenated blood in the pulmonary artery. Now, when the blood reaches these big vessels, aorta takes oxygenated blood and circulates it through the body for fresh oxygen supply to the cells of the body. While, on the other hand, right ventricle it takes the deoxygenated blood and I label them to the right lung and to the left lung where they are oxygenated again. That means they will leave carbon dioxide there and will gain oxygen there. Now the blood is again called oxygenated blood which will enter back into left auricle for the circulation in the body. In the same way, the right auricle gives the blood to the lungs. Now the blood goes from the body back to the heart and from the lungs and then back to the heart. Now this circulation as it is completed in two cycles is called as double circulation. To know more, I will continue this as working of heart in my next lecture.